this is Tommy with All Things Good with Tommy and in today's video I'm going to show you how to organize a cluttered bookshelf without feeling overwhelmed. As I'm sure a lot of you can understand it is so easy to get our bookshelves full of stuff, full of books, full of knickknacks, full of dust. It gets so hard to keep up with it sometimes and then it gets overwhelming. So I'm gonna show you some tips today on how to get that cluttered bookshelf looking nice, neat, organized, and best of all, functioning. So one of the first things that you're gonna wanna do is start taking off all the books on the bookshelf and you're gonna organize them into categories. So category number one, you're gonna take all the books that you no longer are interested in or want to keep and you're gonna put those into one pile. Towards the end of this video, I'm gonna show you some ideas on what you can do with those books that you no longer want. And then next, you're going to sort out the books that you reference a lot. Those can be old school books, college books, maybe courses that you went to, things you wanted to learn. Recipe books is a really good example. And we want to be able to keep those books. But the other thing that's going to make this functional is those are books that you're going to want to be able to find and locate and grab frequently. So those books, you're going to get together and you're gonna organize them on your bookshelf in alphabetical order. They're books that you're familiar with, you remember the title, so you're gonna go right to your bookshelf and you're gonna find that book in alphabetical order. Then you're gonna identify what books you don't reference a lot, but you do wanna keep and you wanna keep them on your bookshelf. They may be something that's sentimental. Maybe it's a book you just think is pretty. You, you like the looks of it, it brings you joy. And maybe it's a book that you've had since childhood. I know for me, I love Harry Potter. I'm never gonna give up my Harry Potter books. I don't care how long it's been since I read them. And you're gonna take those books and you're going to put them on your shelf and you're gonna sort them either by category, if there's by series, or you're gonna take those books and you're gonna organize them by color. And you can use any color scheme you want. For me, those types of books, I sort out colors of the rainbow. So I start out with violet and then blue, green, yellow, and so on. And that way, you don't need to find them right away by title because you don't reference them a whole lot. They're books that you wanna keep, they bring you joy. And when you look at them on the bookshelf and they're all arranged in color, schemes like that they should help bring you joy so that's one way to be able to repurpose those books keep them on your bookshelf and keep them functional but also looking great and then you're gonna have those books that you don't want to throw away they're sentimental to you but you don't want them around anymore you don't want them taking space anywhere you don't want them taking space on your bookshelf so what you're gonna do with those books, you're going to keep them, but we're gonna keep them either away so they don't take a lot of space or maybe put them somewhere where they can be protected. So, so one idea that you can do is find some type of tote or container that's waterproof and you're able to close to keep all the dust out, keep, keep any vermin, insects, things like that, and you're gonna place it in there and you can put it somewhere such as maybe under the bed to save space or you can put it on the high highest closet or shelving unit that you have somewhere. Somewhere away where it's not taking up space, but it's protected and you have it because it is something special to you. The other thing that you can do with something that is sentimental to you that you wanna protect is put it into a safe that is fire resistant. That way you can have it in a safe place, it's protected from water damage, it's protected by fire damage. That's another great idea also. All right, so now that we have our books in our categories, you're gonna go back to the books that you don't want anymore. You can either take those books and give them away to somebody. 
and that way someone else is able to enjoy those books. You can give it to some other type of thrift store and there's probably some other organizations or people in need that might enjoy those books or organizations and if you know of any of those places that would benefit from having books from other people, go ahead and post that below so our community has some really great resources on where they can get rid of those extra books. The other thing that you can do with the books that you don't want is you can sell them. That's a great way you're going to repurpose that book. Someone else is going to be able to enjoy them. You make a little bit of money. So if you also know of some website, some community that you can sell books or buy books from, go ahead and list that below so other people can reference that resource also. Another great idea that you can do to help repurpose books is use them as decorations around the house. Some books are so, so beautiful, aren't they? You can use them as bookends for other books. You can put them on shelves, coffee tables. One of my favorites is using one of those shelves that, and I'm, I'm so sorry, I do not remember the name of this, but they're the brackets that you can put on a wall so these would be the brackets on the wall and then the book would lay across it and it would act like a shelf. That's a great way to give some character to a room. Another thing that you can do with repurposed books is you can use them as a craft. There's so many ideas on Google and Pinterest of great ideas to use books as different craft ideas, something fun for you, something fun for the kids. If you have any ideas of some great crafting ideas to do with books or maybe ways to decorate with them, go ahead and post below so our community can use that as a resource. And then lastly, you can use that book as a, a secret hideaway. So what does that mean? You take one of those books and you use some kind of knife or an X-Acto blade and you go ahead and you cut a little hole in there. So cut through multiple pages, you're cutting through, you take it out and you have a little section in there that looks like a book, but when you open it, it has a hole in there. You can put extra money in there, you can hide things, you can maybe store an extra candy bar in there that nobody knows about. You can put anything you want in there, you close it up and you put the book on the bookshelf or anywhere else you might wanna hide it. That's another great idea that you can use as repurposing a book. Are some of my tips today. I hope you enjoyed them. Please subscribe, click like if you like this. And if you think this is information that would help other people in your life, go ahead and share this video. If you would like more tips on what to do with a bookshelf or what to do with organizing books, go ahead and leave me a message below and I will send you my free resource guide on ideas of how to organize a cluttered bookshelf. I hope you all have an amazing day. Bye.